to welcome our winners out now for the women's gunshu. As you can see, each of the bulbs that have the trees for the medalists are different, so we're going to be increasing the amount of biodiversity the that's found. The Vice President of Vietnam Olympic Council. The mascot and city will be presented by Mr. Huang Kuo Fin, the deputy to the chair of the division of Vietnam. The Vietnamese flags there by the supporters, helping supporters. Indonesia! Indonesia decided to field a young squad this time round. It was a risky decision, but it's paid off. 24 years of age, Felder Elvira Santoso stepping on the third step, clinching the bronze medal for Indonesia in the Kunshu. She's just 20 years old, but she's already been a world and Asian junior champion. You can expect big things from Lo Ying Ting in future. Ladies and gentlemen, the gold medalist and sea games champion once again, Vietnam! So Vietnam steps on the top step yet again. Hong Ti Hong Kiang previously won the gold in 2013 in this competition as well. And she's back yet again with another gold medal for Vietnam. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the national anthems of Vietnam. Supporters all wildly ecstatic there in the stands as we take a look at the final standings there. Vietnam winning the gold medal, Malaysia with the silver, and Indonesia's Felda Elvira Santoso with the bronze. We do have plenty more Wushu action coming up over the next couple of days, so please do stick around and stay with us. You'll be able to see more of the likes of this. Phong Thi Phong Kiang. There's something about the Vietnamese when they're in action. Her moves so fluid in the way they were pieced together the choreography really standing out amongst the rest and you see those gorgeous medals designed and forged by Royal Salango
made of pewter, inlaid with wood as well. Really keeping it nice and traditional here in Malaysia. She looks a little overwhelmed there on the podium. And there you have it, our victory ceremony is done and